Okay, so this is a, a video tutorial request for Missy. Uh, she wants to take this picture right here and turn it into an SVG, but she wants to get rid of these words, Kentland and the number 33, and put in her own. So I'm going to show how you would do that. First thing we need to do is trace a bitmap, so path, trace bitmap. I'm going to use colors, and I'm going to do four scans, remove background, stack scans, and smooth. Um, the way you do this would kind of depend on how you're building your, your decal or your different layers. So your, your, your method might be a little bit different. But I'm going to say OK. All right, it's done the trace. I can pull. Here's the trace. And there's the original. So I'm going to close that window. Move that off to the side because we're going to be working with this guy now. So you can see if I click on it, and drag, I can pull the layers apart. Okay. So now, basically, we want to get rid of stuff we don't want. And I'm just going to show on this black layer. And like I said, it depends on how you're building your, your layers. But <clears throat> if I double click on this, you can see it shows me the nodes. Now, one way you could do this, get rid of this, is you could just go in, click and drag, and select the nodes that you don't want and then press delete and keep doing that until you get rid of all of the nodes that you don't want. But that's time consuming so I'm pressing control Z to undo it. Here is another way to do it. I'm going to press the space bar to get back to my selector tool. All right. And then I'm going to click on the Bezier tool and I'm basically just going to draw a box right here like that. Now it's filled it with um, whatever color I had used last time. You can change that if you want. And it doesn't have an outline or a stroke. If yours shows up with an outline or a stroke such as that, you probably don't want that. So what you can do is hold down the shift key and click on this little X down here. Holding down the shift key lets you select your stroke color and the X means no stroke. Okay? So that just makes things a little bit easier not to have an outline around that. Now I'm going to click on the node. While this is selected, I'm going to click on the node tool so I can edit this box and make it cover up the text. So I'm just going to basically click on this top path and pull it upwards until it covers the top of the letters. If you got a little bit of white showing, you can actually click on the node and drag that. All right. And you don't want this going outside of your, your black area at all. You want it completely inside the black area. So now I'm going to do the same for the bottom path. Just click on it and pull it upwards till it's covering that whole area. And there's a little sliver of white showing here. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm just going to grab that handle and pull down move the node a little, just basically so it's covering it but not going outside of the black. Spacebar to get back to the selector tool. Okay, so now my little purple area is selected. I'm also going to select, hold down the shift key and select the black area. So now both are selected. I'm going to go to path union which will join those together. So now you can see if I double click to get to the nodes that Kirkland is completely gone. We've gotten rid of it. It's just a black area. And now it's blank for you to add your own text. So we'll do the same thing for the number 33. And I'm just going to use the Bezier tool again and just basically draw an outline around it. Now if your Inkscape is doing wonky things, not letting you put the nodes where you want, you might have your snap tools on. So you can see if I have the snap tools on, it's a little, it, it wants to snap it to certain areas. So control Z to undo those last couple. And I'm going to turn off my snap and then just finish doing what I was doing. So just drawing a box around there. And the same thing, um, selector tool. This is selected. Hold down the shift key and select black. And then control shift plus, which is a shortcut for path union. Okay, so now you can see we've gotten rid of all these uh, 
elements that we don't need and now we can go in and add the elements we do want. Now if I was making this uh, decal for myself or for someone else, I would probably do the same thing for this text, Rescue Engine and Go Home We Got It, because if I zoom in you can see that when this was vectorized um, the letters aren't very crisp, they're a little bit um, wonky, and the same thing for up here. If you were to get rid of those and then make your own text with a an actual font, then those would be a lot more crisp and they would probably cut better. If you click on nodes, you can see there's a there's quite a few nodes in there. If you were to put your own font in, it would probably be a little less complicated. Okay, so I hope that answers Missy's question. And if not, she can let me know and I will do a different video. Thank you.